So in this video we're going to cover the concept behind line finding and line following programs, uh, simple ones that is, uh, instead of showing you a, a specific example because it's really good for uh, FLL teams to uh, develop their own ideas and there's there's no one right way to do line following or line finding. There are multiple ways and uh, each of them have their uh, strengths and flaws. So with lines there are four different conditions. We have nowhere near the line, uh, on the white, on the black, and on the black and white kind of halfway in between also known as the gray. So when you look at these, these are your kind of four different situations that your line follower or line finder may uh, may be in. So starting off with line finding, um, the, the general purpose of line finding is to stop at a line. Now, um, there are multiple ways to stop at a line. You can stop when you see white, which is kind of anywhere. When you see black, which kind of depends on your, your thickness of the, the line, or when you see uh, half black, half white, which is gray, which is only at a specific point. So generally teams use their gray value uh, or half, half on, half off uh, value for um, stopping on a line. Now you can use any of the flow blocks for this pretty much. Uh, the flow blocks are going to really help you with all the different uh, sensor settings uh, that allow you to use your light sensor. So line following is basically just line finding over and over again. Um, the basic concept between for the main one uh, that a lot of teams use is uh, if it's if it's white turn one way and if it's black turn turn another way. Uh, that's probably the simplest one that you can make. And uh, there are improvements, of course, you can make on them, uh, which is really up to you guys on how you do that. But the, the concept is, since you're in white, you turn this way towards the black line. And when you get on the black, you turn this way towards the white part of the line. And then you end up getting this kind of bouncing motion. So you bounce back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, as you're kind of correcting yourself. And you end up following the line. Um, with that, there's a little bit of tweaking. Um, people use loops or switches or a whole multitude of things. Uh, again, different uh, pros and cons to each of them. So that's kind of the basic uh, theory behind uh, line finding and line following. So go and try and build out uh, a program for it.